And back here in the Austin area, we know that this is just booming, and it's also the film industry that has seen a lot of growth. But there's one company facing some backlash this morning. Just this week, a group formed to pr protest the development of a film production company. Kendi Rodriguez tells us why Protect the River is concerned. Yeah, Amanda Tom, this month the San Marcos City Council approved nearly $5 million in incentives over a five year period for Hill Country Studios. But the group says the massive film production company puts the San Marcos River and the Edwards Aquifer recharge zone at risk. To give you an idea, the studio is set to be built just southwest of San Marcos. That's the blue marker on the left of your screen. The purple overlay you see shows that it falls within the recharge zone. That's the area where rain water seeps into the aquifer through faults or fractures and essentially recharges it. It serves as the drinking water source for millions of central Texans. That's why the group worries about what this new development could mean for the future of the water. This is a hugely critical issue as the San Marcos area continues to grow in population and continues to put pressure on our aquifer. Um, not only is this the source of drinking water for so many already, but it's the cultural and spiritual hub of the community as well. In order for the area to be developed, the production company will have to follow several environmental rules. Now, this includes height restrictions, water quality guidelines, and minimizing impervious cover to just under 50 percent. Those are things like rooftops, driveways, parking lots that make it a lot harder for the land to absorb rainfall. The city expects to collect an additional $2 million in property taxes in 2023-2024 because of the studio. That's before the incentives kick in in 2025. And over a decade, the city also estimates the rebate could yield the city $11 million. And I want my, the, my, the community to know, my constituents to know, there is no way that if I thought this was going to have a detrimental impact um, that I would be supporting this. Today's Protect the River public meeting will begin at noon. The group tells me they plan to gather for a protest next Tuesday. The Hill Country Studio CEO Corey McLeod says in part they're committed to working with their neighbors to ensure the preservation of the Edwards Aquifer and its recharge zone and adds that it's been the studio's priority since day one. To read his full statement and get the details on today's meeting, go to our website, kxan.com. Amanda.